where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there Spider-Man fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review. Today we are reviewing the new Spider-Man 2099 from the new Across the Spider-Verse movie, which if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what you're waiting on because this is probably the best Spider-Man movie so far. And that's not really surprising because Into the Spider-Verse was very, very fantastic. I loved, loved, loved that movie. And Across the Spider-Verse was also very, very good. Best Marvel movie so far this year. And yeah, I'm including Guardians in that. Guardians was great too, but Across the Spider-Verse was, I think, just a little bit better, at least for me. Anyway, we ordered a Miguel, or at least Josh ordered a Miguel for himself because he really loved Miguel. Now, I do want to review the rest of the wave, so we are working on getting some more of the Across the Spider-Verse figures to review here on Bay 12. But we did order this, and it came from Amazon. And this is an interesting box that they sent a carded figure in. It uh, doesn't really sound like there's any padding in there, so we're going to crack this open and the reason why i didn't just open this box and cover it before is because i also wanted to comment on amazon's packaging here so let's see because we know amazon doesn't always handle collectibles like they should granted we're opening this but semantics right yeah not bad uh just a little bit of corner dings from it bouncing around on the edges of the box but uh yeah yeah it's not in too bad of shape still held up relatively so anyway, here is Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara from Into, from Across the Spider-Verse. He looks pretty awesome. I like that Hasbro is going for the card back look. Uh, it doesn't really make sense so much for Across the Spider-Verse, but hey, I'm not against it. It's better than the windowless packaging. I think they started catching on more and more that people just really, really don't like the windowless packaging. And if we're going to go with card backs instead, I'm okay with that. I, I'd prefer this over windowless packaging any day. Even though I'm not a sealed collector, I still want to see what I'm buying. On the back, you've got a good image of Miguel and the other figures in the wave. There is no Build-A-Figure with this set of figures. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. And here is Spider-Man 2099 right out of the packaging. And my man's is built different. He looks awesome. This is a really cool take on Spider-Man 2099. I do really like this design. And I love, I love the translucent cape that is made out of webbing and is also digital and can retract on screen. Really thought that was cool. His arm blades, I like how long they are. I think those are pretty cool. And I, I like how this take on Miguel kind of has the arm blades from one of the newer, more modern Spider-Man 2099 suits, but also has a lot of the detail from the classic Spider-Man 2099 suit, like the cowl and the skull spider on the chest. Love those details from the classic suit. I'm glad we went with the red and blue suit because I'm not as crazy about the black and white suit that they did or maybe it's more of a white and dark blue but regardless I don't care for the white Spider-Man 2099 suit as much I prefer the blue and red it, it just it looks cooler it looks cooler in my opinion he is fully articulated head is on a ball joint fully articulated shoulders upper bicep Double jointed elbows, wrist joints, ab crunch, waist, hips, upper thigh, double jointed knees, and ankle joints. And my man's, he went on this insane workout regiment after we saw him at the end of Into the Spider-Verse because he wasn't built like this when we saw him in, in when we saw him in Into the Spider-Verse. He was built more like a regular Spider-Man, just a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, and he just started working out chest and shoulders rigorously because, I mean, he's very top-heavy looking. It's a cool design, but he's very top-heavy looking in this movie. He also comes with some open gesture hands 
I wish he came with some claw hands as well with some of his talons just sticking out and ready to go because, I, I mean, that would have been a better pair of swappable hands than just these regular relaxed open gesture hands to go along with the pair of fists that he comes with. Because in the movie, we see him use the claw hands quite a bit actually, so that would have been nice. A swappable head with just an unmasked Miguel also would have been pretty cool. Now that's not to say there probably isn't another Miguel O'Hare coming at some point in the future in Marvel Legends, but even still, this is a pretty awesome figure, pretty awesome Spider-Man 2099 design, and he's really cool in the movie, and Oscar Isaacs, you really can't go wrong with Oscar Isaacs. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review featuring the new Marvel Legends Across the Spider-Verse Spider-Man 2099 figure. What did you think of this figure overall? And have you seen the movie yet? And did you love it or did you love it? Overall, it was pretty awesome. And I really, really can't wait for the sequel. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legends reviews. Check out some of our other content. Like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. And if you're looking for cool Marvel figures and more, come by our store inside Order 66 Multiverse in the shops at Willoughby Mall in Plano, Texas. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. It's game over, man. Game over, man. Game over.